am going to show you how to install the hour meter. This is the exact hour meter that I install on every piece of internal combustion equipment that I use in my lawn business, whether it's mowers or stick equipment, blowers, whatever, um, if it didn't come with them. So uh, first thing we want to do is we want to determine um, a good place to mount this. And I think I'm going to just put it right there. That um, looks like a good place. Uh, I'll be able to use these fins right here. It doesn't look like it'll interfere with anything. Yep. So that's where we're going to be mounting it, right there. I could mount it on top, but I want the uh, I want less chance of sun damaging the uh, LED. So <clears throat> I'm just going to uh, take the wire that we've got and we need to wrap this around the uh, spark plug wire which is right here and I'm going to uh, to make this a little easier I'm going to take this boot off just like that okay and I'm going to link in Amazon where I get these because this is a, is a really good quality brand. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a zip tie that's included with the kit and I'm just going to zip tie the end up as far as I can. This will hold the wire when I'm actually wrapping it around. And this zip tie will stay on there. And then I'm just going to wrap this around, I don't know, maybe four or five times. Okay. All right, so that's sh that should be sufficient. So I've got like five loops in it. <clears throat> and I'm gonna take another zip tie and uh, do the exact same thing with uh, this end. And I'll cut off the excess. I'm going to go ahead and put this back on the plug. Okay. All right. Then I'll just take my wire cutters, nip off the excess so it's a nice clean install like that. So I'm just going to run the wire up like this, but before I do that, I'm going to take some larger zip ties, about this size. I think these are like six, seven inches. And I'm going to bend them like this. So basically, I want to I want to be able to get this to where I can feed it through the little slots right here. Now I found that taking some needle nose pliers and grabbing and just pulling it through like that is uh, is very helpful. So I'm going to test fit this Let's see about where I want to put the other one. So I think right here, I think right here will be good. Okay. 
All right, now. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that it's not upside down. I'm gonna put the zip ties through the meter first, just to make sure I got it where I want it. Okay, it'll be just like that. And then I'm gonna take this and pull this back off and the wire goes into a slot in the back. This little slot right here. So the wire just presses down in there. And I'm gonna leave a little bit of slack, um, enough to where I can get the spark plug wire or boot off without having to take off the, uh, so once you get it down in there, you can take a screwdriver and just gently press it for a uh, plastic, like a trim tool, trim tool or something. So we'll put that on like that. We'll put this on like this. Okay. And I think that'll work fine. Let me make sure I can get the boot off. Without any problem. Okay. All right, so that'll work just fine. So that amount of slack is perfect. Just, I'm going to leave just a little bit there, but I've got spare if I need to redo it at some point. Make sure these are facing like this. Okay, that's nice and tight. We're just going to snip off the uh, excess. I leave just a little bit, like a quarter of an inch. In case this loosens up, then I can take uh, some needle nose and just pull it like that if I need to. Okay. Yeah, there we go. And the good thing about this hour meter is when the engine's running, this little uh, hourglass starts to blink. But there we go. All right.